Uh, thank you very much for all uh, coming. So this session is organized by Nordic Kashmir Organization and uh, Kashmiri Writers Forum. So today, Ali Dalasan, our famous party writers, will read uh, party stories and the Shama Shaman Sabal South Asian English. Yeah, Ali Dalasan. Thank you, Talat, for inviting me. And I thank uh, Nordic Kashmir Organization for inviting us over here and giving me an opportunity to uh, read my story. And uh, also I thank uh, Kaiser Saab and Fluke and uh, Dr. Fluke and then the rest of him. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to write, write this, um, uh, I'm going to read this story. It is in line with forced migration of people from um, so-called Azad Kashmir into the other part of Kashmir. And it's a story about one family. And, and, and uh, I think Shamas will try and translate it if, if at all possible. Yeah, it's called uh, Letter to the Dead. Murder and Akhat, yeah? He said, Takoha Shait, Etusana Khate. Look at this, this is perhaps your letter. Sangya Satya Dal Kutubene Kokeber Bay. The chitka luanena swada kya gamingya. Sitting at the cabin of uh, uh, Kutba, uh, it felt like uh, the joy of sitting in the sunshine was uh, vanished. Dakhadar Babu Yusuf Khadita, pata padi ke maratra nikhiya. The postman gave me the letter and I was jolted when I looked at the address. It was uh, for uh, it was addressed to my grandfather. Who died uh, at least 19 years ago. Uh, my cousin Rafiq who was there, he read the address and uh, uh, bursted out in laughter. Well, you play pranks with other people. Somebody, I think, um, had uh, uh, taken revenge. He took, he took the letter off my hands and then uh, looked at both sides and he was uh, also uh, surprised when he saw that it was uh, it had jammu stamped on it oh bolya utha kon hai sada sakda he said do we have any relative there utha vaake sada koi bhi nahi sa bharat vich mare england ne janu the yeah we had nobody there i had some friends from england who are originally from bharat india I have some friends in England who are from Jammu, but they don't know about my grandfather. Probably our grandfather owed somebody some money. Rafiq was still in joking mood. I took letter of him and opened it with trembling hands. It was it was scribbled and sat. Bawaji Namaste Salam Alaikum. Bawaji Namaste Salam Alaikum greetings. You must be intrigued that uh, who this letter is from. My name is Ajit. Uh, when I was young, uh, everybody used to call me Jito, and you was also amongst them who called me Jito. I am uh, the younger son of your neighbor Pyara Singh. You may remember that when conditions uh, turned uh, Unsafe in 1947. My respected father one night invited you to our house 
and told you the bottom para log sari jani ne picha pe ke daso kya karo that uh, some people uh, from uh, over the border uh, are after our lives what should we do now me lok aa jasa aur wo raat me ki ne pordi i was very young at that time but i cannot forget that night ta khushi aakhya si fikr na karo अंकल खुशिया सेड डोंट वरी पर वो असाइन कोई मासी थे फिर तो सादा तकसी इफ इट कम्स टू दैट दे हैव टू फिनिश अस फर्स्ट बिफोर सेटिंग बैड आईज ऑन यू तया सखी करनी बे रोना सी ते नाले तसलियां देना अंकल सखी आई कैन रिमेंबर वाज हडल टॉप इन द कॉर्नर एंड ही आल्सो सेड कमराने नहीं कोई लोड नहीं डोंट वरी एट ओ कच्ची बत्तियां रे होगा भी आपने आप ही बुक की जासी दिस स्टॉर्म विल गो अवे एज वेल लाइक द वन इन 1931 एंड 32 डेट तो सब मुड़ी है सो यू विल कम बैक तो सारे अच्छे तक रह सब तो सारे कलाम पाला नहीं कैड रख सा टिल देन वी विल लुक आफ्टर योर होम्स एंड प्रॉप ये गल सारी है करानिया जदानिया को भी नहीं पता इवन द वुमेन ऑफ आवर हाउसेस डिड नॉट नो अबाउट दिस दे वर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ द वर्सनिंग सिचुएशन वो पर्दे ना पर्दे विच करानिया खास खास चीजें बने बने तो सारे करा जो पहुंच गई एंड वेरी सीक्रेटली वी ट्रांसफर्ड सम ऑफ Uh, the valuables of our homes to your homes isra lokaniya nazra me yaad jehdi asadya karada re uthniya so and i can uh, remember some of the way some people looked towards our homes oh tyari oh tyare bhi yaad hai jo mole ne log sare karay vich I can remember those days when the people of villages come to our home. अच्छी तरह सारे बेबे, पेरा, पुड़ावां की कलावे मारी मारी रोड़े सो. And um, hugged our uh, uh, family members and cried. कुरिया तब मुड़े, कुरिया कुरिया की तब मुड़े मुड़िया की निशानियाँ देने सो. Girls were giving. Uh, um nishani ka ji nishani ka ji cream ka present just present they were uh, presenting presents to the girls were presenting present to the girls and boys were presenting present to the boys for the remembrance for the remembrance yeah main vich khush na sa from inside i was not happy me pata si kuch na kuch hone wala hai i had this feeling that something was going to happen खात पढ़ने ऐसे तक रुक पहुंचे सां जब मेरे फीक ने मुंह दर्द सक गया। We um, reached uh, uh, to this point uh, of the letter and when I looked at फीक uh, towards the फीक। तो उस बारे दर्द सक गया। And he looked at me। असल दो है मुंह कोई ना बोले। We none of us said anything। अखियां अखियां आगे पढ़ो आगे क्या लिखिया माँ। Eyes said read on the then the letter fir khate ga laga si us raat hi pata nahi kya gal si asal mein ghar aa vich suta koi nahi the letter further said uh don't know what was uh, wrong at that night uh, that no one at our homes could go to sleep sari raat ek dungi chup roni re all night a deep silence kept crying रिजन एज बीटन by the same silence be dilajya hoyi takiyo ole lene ala si 
it felt like it was going down beyond the hill un un unwillingly asala dera tyar si our whole household household was ready moriya de sute so the whole village was asleep bave sagi te tu sagi gosha vich aakya where well, we whispered we told in whispers to you and uh, uncle sagi bal karo bal hariyo hariyo no re sakda sa kafi pirna maar we have to get out of these areas before um uh, the, the, the the before the light is the baad rawas pe gaya before the daylight and uh, and after that everyone started crying be bede vich mitti di muth bhari ke apne cheede ni chuka baddi the mother took a some um dust from the courtyard and tied it up in her uh, um in her cloth muri had had got had covering muri muri karaniya kanda ki japhe dene everybody was uh, hugging the walls of the house uh to nena dang is okay nobody wanted to move but akhir to re pe aao but eventually we had to move on राजधानी तो निकले आ याद हो सी है व्हेन वी केम आउट ऑफ राजधानी यू मे रिमेंबर मी की तो सा मुंडे को चाया हुआ सी यू हैड मी ऑन योर शोल्डर्स कदरे कदरे अन्ना को वो उजाड़ मंगना सी पिया एट टाइम्स द ऑल वाज अम क्राइंग लो और ये तक ऐसा काफी पेंडा मारना तो सा फिर आ गया सी you said again that hurry up because we have to get out of these areas before the daylight miki kuch samajh nahi peni i could not understand tir ke kya what what is the rush dar ke di galla na why we are scared who is scared of what par pave kani ji drakli raat hove or even when there is a deep dark night par po phatnya kada dari hai does the dark night get scared of the rising uh, the emerging light par aaj dari bhi lag gayi but that day it felt scared lo na shuru hui when the light started the asaik jangalach be de sa we had um, some rest in 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 a, in a forest karaniya pakhiya ya rotiya khadiya te neendar aayi we had uh, we ate uh, some homemade uh, food and uh, went to and, and fell asleep abba phir jaagi pya dad woke up aakhda se meri sehnya dar lag raha hai he was saying that uh, i feel scared tu sa kya si adde so te adde jaago wari wari and you advise that uh, take turns some people sleep and then uh, other others uh, awake and then they go to sleep and peshi je vela bave sakhi akhya ah it was about afternoon when uh, uncle sakhi said me zara pata kara agge koi khatra to nahi let me go ahead and see if uh, everything is safe o nawasha wale mude te dasya ne he came back in the evening and uh, said ਚੋਰੀ ਬਾਜ਼ਾਰਾਂ ਚ ਕੁਝ ਪਠਾਨ ਬੈਠੇ ਹੋਏ ਸਨ देयर आर सम ट्राइबल्स इन सिटिंग इन द चिरोही बाजार द मार्केट इन दवा सिखा के जुटने थे दे आर दे वर टू लूट हिंदूज एंड सिक्स कश्मीरी मुसलमान भी विचो नकलो डरने से कश्मीरी मुस्लिम वर आल्सो स्केयर्ड ऑफ देम कुफ्ता वाले फिर टूरी पे सा uh we st- then started our journey again uh, after uh, uh, the last prayer of the day sari raat jangla vich tudneya guzri gayi all night we kept walking through the forest sar ki vela ek jai bhai re sa in the early hours we um, sat in another place to have some rest nishara itu nere hai tu sab dasya se you told us the nishara is not far from here now ba sakhi utu muri pe son ba sakhi 
and that from that point Baba Saki went back. I was crying and I was asking Baba come with us. Or, don't don't cry, he can't go beyond this point because it's not safe for him, my dad said to me. But why, how come we are safe after this point and he is not? I couldn't understand that. When we reached to Nishara, I saw the whole town was deserted. Houses were burnt. It, it, you know, it was smell of dead bodies spread everywhere. Uh, my tears were uh, dried uh, by the shock. Uh, that uh, uh, this view caused, uh, caused me. Nishara ek camp lagga hoya si. There was camp in Nishara. Uthi asa ki nave kapde the roti bani diti ne. Yeah, we were given new clothes there and some uh, things to eat. Uthi kuch log mande zakmi ta bimar si. Some people in the in that camp were uh, ill, uh, injured, and not well. Har pas hai naviya naviya kaniya si. There were stories everywhere. Namia Namia Vajas, new voices all around. Had a Roletu Bad Apne Apne Gravich Murijas. Well, they will go uh, return to their homes after this uh, unrest. Kusakia uh, Bas Pulija. But some, someone said, No, forget it. Kapulija, a coin is Miki does not. Why should we forget? I couldn't understand. Nobody was telling me. Tiajia Gala Bosa. Too many. Things like this, <coughs> which we wanted to forget. I can still remember the voices of those soldiers. They were speaking a strange language. And I was thinking those who were speaking our language, why they were killing us. And why these who I don't understand what they are saying, why they are sympathetic to us? Later on we learned that these were Indian soldiers. We are uh, killing Muslims here because the, on the other side Pathan killed our people. Why, why they are killing Muslims and why Pathans kill, 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 were killing us? This thing too I could not understand. Even now I can't understand. Meanwhile, we, uh, the news came to us that Nushara was attacked. We were ordered that uh, leave the roads and uh, go in the forest and wait. We kept waiting all day. When night fell, the whole area was um, um, Every, everywhere we uh, heard the noise of cries and uh, shots. Everybody was running around and you know everybody was worried about themselves. I uh, went hiding in a cave behind a stone. And I uh, stayed there all night till the morning. Everything was quiet. Then I started hearing some people talking. I was more scared. I felt like somebody is uh, looking into the cave. Then I stopped breathing. 
मुझे बार कर दिया someone pulled me uh, my legs and pulled me out तभी दिलासा दे नहीं किया and uh, started consoling me फिर मुझे बोल शर्कें की नहीं आया then uh, I was brought down on the road इसे एक जीप खाती हुई थी there a jeep was parked there और भी बदले से there were some other people उस बीच में लड़की की दाल and they uh, put me in that jeep मैं रोई थी कुछ ना रहा बड़े मार पियो थे चाचे कुछ है I kept crying and was asking where are my parents and my uncles वो लोग कल जा सो I want to go to them पर किसे ना दस्या but nobody told me आज थोड़ी किसे नहीं दस्या nobody told me to this day सिर्फ इतना दस रहे हैं उन लोग जो कुछ बची गए सो all all they tell me that some of them were survived uh, जड़े ना से पर जिस तरह जमुनिया सिखा इन दुआ मुसलमान ने जनानियां खसी के लिए सो ना नॉट द मेन पर द वे द हिंदूज एंड सिक्स ऑफ जम्मू स्नैच्ड अवे द वुमेन ऑफ मुस्लिम उस तरह पठाना में हिंदू सिख जनानियां पगड़ी रखिया वा बेचिया में इन द सेम मैनर पठानस कैप्ट द वुमेन ऑफ हिंदू एंड सिक्स एंड सम ऑफ देम वर सोल्ड इवन सोचना जे माला को बचिया तो उस तो साला रावता जरूर कीता हो आई वाज थिंकिंग दैट इफ एनी ऑफ माय फैमिली इफ 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 एनी एनी सर्वाइवर फ्रॉम माय फैमिली माइट हैव कांटेक्टेड यू जे तो सब को पता होवे तो दसो इफ यू नो एनीथिंग अबाउट देम प्लीज टेल अस लेट अस नो खत मुकी गया द लेटर वाज फिनिश्ड रफीक मारे दर्द में रफीक दर्द तक गया रफीक वाज लुकिंग एट मी एंड आई वाज लुकिंग एट रफीक उसने आखिया ने अथरू में की साफ नजरी नहीं सुना शने। I could not see clearly the tears in his eyes। जिस वजह से खात पे पढ़ने सा। While we were reading the letter, कुतबे ने खोके पर और कुन कुन सी। Who else was uh, sitting uh, uh, in the कुतबा's cabin? ये तो कोई पता नहीं। I don't know। तब मैं रोना रोना उठी गया। I went away crying. अगले मरने की अंडिया गुआने की जाई तो रुआया एंड देन आई टोल्ड द नेबरहुड एंड दे स्टार्टेड क्राइंग इस वाला रफीक भी आखना रफीक आल्सो सेड उस भी जिन्ना नाल एक कहानी पाई हु एवर ही टोल्ड दिस स्टोरी जिन्हें रोए ना वो परेशान जरूर दे आल्सो गॉट वेरी अपसेट कोई नहीं पता उन्हें उस कुन कुन सी डोंट नो हु वर अमंग्स देम जीतो के में लिखिया सॉरी जीतो की मैं मुड़ी दिखे आई रोड बैक टू जीतो इट्स आई टू अरे सगदाला में जो कोई नहीं मुड़ी पहुंचे नो वन हैज कम बैक हियर फ्रॉम एनी ऑफ योर रिलेटिव्स पर कोई दिया रे आप बाद एक पर आफ्टर सम डेज एक पत्थर जिया मुड़ा ए टीनेज बॉय पता नहीं कुत्तू आया आखर लगा डोंट नो वेयर ही कैम फ्रॉम बट ही वाज एंड ही सेड मिकी जीतो ना पता दियो। I want uh, जीतो's address। मैं उसने पे नू ना पुत्र सलमान। I am uh, son of his sister and my name is सलमान। मैं सोचा इसे पता नहीं कितने जीतो थे कितने सलमान हैं। I thought I don't know how many जीतोस and सलमान्स are around। जिन्हें कि पता ही कोई नहीं। Who even don't know? उन्हें ना आज भी क्या प्यार होना है? What is happening to them even today? कौन क्या कर रहा था किया कर रहा है? Who is doing what and why? मैं सोचा चलो जिस रात जीतो की अपनी पेरुना पुत्र पता लगी गया। I thought maybe the way जीतो uh, is now know about the son of his sister। इसे तो रख हो रहा है। ऐसा और लिया पर लिया कोई पता लगी जाए कि सारे जान क्या हो गया। Similarly maybe one day we the people who are on this side of divide and other side of divide will find out work out what is happening to us the mess ki pata chahiye and i gave him that dress so what for that i i wrote this um and then i had returned from england to kashmir i came back and there used to be a, a deputy commissioner called puri now he was also a refugee from jammu 
And when I came back to England, he was visiting England, and somebody rang me. <coughs> this block called Hukumdad. He says, Deshi Puri wants to meet you. I thought, I know him. And you eat when the visitors come, you know, like, they expect you to, you know, like, throw a back foot and give them some money. So I thought it would be about them. So I thought, okay, I, I know him. <coughs> so I went to see him and he says, you are from Raidani, are you? I said, yes. So what had happened was, his son was a doctor. Now, with him was another doctor who had uh, uh, graduated from Canada, moved to Manchester, and his mother kept bugging that I want to meet somebody from Daidadi, which is my village. So I thought, what's going on here? So I went to see his son. He introduced me to this Hindu Sikh fella, and he told me that he was this, this, this uh, woman's son who used to be our neighbor. It's coincidence after this story. So I came back and I told my father and uncle, and it was 8 o'clock at night, and they said, oh, we want to go now, we want to go now. I said, we can't go now. This was, you know, years, this was in the 80s. Um, 32 years old. No, they said, yeah, she's our sister, she's the last sister, blah, blah, blah. So next day I took them, and she was um, a lady. Our neighbor, shopkeeper, six daughter, that grew up with my father and my uncle. And they stayed, brother and sister, ever since. And both of my, uh, my father and my uncles passed away. As she, she still lives in Manchester, and then they moved to Leicester or something. When she was in Manchester, I used to frequently visit her. And then I went to Jammu, and one of her nephews is a um, film director in Jammu. So she rang him, no, not in Jammu, in Bollywood. She rang him, and I was sleeping uh, in my friend's house, in one of the filmmakers' director, the, the, the film director's house. And I saw somebody tickling at my feet. As, you know, I felt that I was sleeping. I woke up. There's this fella, sick fella, you know, trying to kiss my feet. And I thought, what's going on? Is he gay or something? You know, I, I didn't know, you know. I got up and I said, what's going on? So he sat beside me, he hugged me, he started crying. I said, what are you doing? And he, he told me who he was. And he said, I'm only kissing his feet because this, this feet must have walked in our house. In Raidani. So it was this really accidental, and I wrote this before that. <laughs> I imagine how it would have been. But after that, we got to meet this family and we're still in contact. <coughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> I think, are we, are we allowed to make some yeah, 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 yeah. comments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Okay, please, I mean, it's not Can we yeah, sure. contribute? To yeah, that? sure, absolutely. I think the context of this letter uh, is that uh, before the uh, um, start of the troubles, uh, the people on in, in the whole of Kashmir were living in harmony in religious harmony, um, social harmony, economic harmony. They were, had been living like that for thousands of years. And there was no enmity, no resentment based on any, any grounds, whether religious, uh, nationalist. What this shows that all of a sudden, the ordinary people from the village, from that area, were visited upon by this storm that just arrived at their doorstep. Without them knowing any anything about it, without them having any warning, and they started to experience killings based, based on uh, 
the ground that this land has now been split. It's been split and has to be cleansed uh, based on the religious grounds. The cleansing started from both sides by the people who infiltrated from the outside. The cleansing never started within that land. It was uh, supported, encouraged and motivated for political reasons by the two countries. India from their side, which they thought they'll be able to take. Pakistan from their side, which they thought they'll be able to take. So both countries were only interested in getting a share of the land. So they had decided upon themselves that this land is going to be conquered for our own political gains. And of course neither were successful. If India and Pakistan were successful on their own right, then this cleansing the carnage might not have happened. So both sides entered their own areas and started to get rid of those people who were of a different religion. The Indian side, whatever they could cover, they started to cleanse the Muslims. And the Muslim Pakistani side, whatever they could cover, they started to cleanse the Hindus. But the local people had real affection for each other. And when the local people thought that they can't do anything about this cleansing, local people helped each other <coughs> with real affection and genuine concern to cross the line to the other side so that they can be safe. And this letter goes over the time that subsisted at that time and how still those yearnings, those longings are still lit with a burning fire and the people on both sides have still have genuine affection and love for each other. If they're only allowed to mingle with each other freely, they would do it overnight. But the bigger powers are keeping them apart by force for their own political experience. And that love and affection and that real beauty of humanity still subsists in both peoples. Yeah. Just a couple days, I also searching from Google, learn some more things about Kashmir. I'm just pre preparing for a talk with you guys. Don't you talking about something else? I answer it with somebody else. Mm -hmm. I learned that as well as what you read, as well as yesterday's film. Only I can't find that common conclusion mm -hmm. for the past 70 years. What was both side have any conclusion? Now you know. Everything. All the time you are telling the story. Yes, this is happening. World now, everything is happening in Kashmir. Through your writings, your films, and uh, your presentation. But I, I really interest for any conclusion you guys already made by both sides together. This is what we want. I didn't see such things from uh, or writing or filming. Mm. Only Tarat telling me, but no any other place I can hear it. Mm. Yeah, I mean we can we can send you some links uh, which perhaps can give you uh, information on that aspect. Mm. Uh, obviously, the experience of people on both sides for last about 66 years. Um, after this, uh, you know, division was uh, imposed on people. Uh, obviously, there are different experiences. People at that point in history, uh, there was this uh, wave of uh, uh, two kind of nationalisms: uh, one based on religion, yeah. and other based on, uh, you know, the Indian or state nationalism. The Indian and Pakistani nationalism, they were kind of originally uh, to, uh, you know, take freedom from the British Empire. And obviously at one point uh, they took this narrow nationalistic uh, shape 
and then they try to engulf everything which was not part of their uh, territories. So they try to take most land and resources and whatever, and they um, um, used the emotions mm -hmm. of people and mainly religious emotion on both sides. And there were people in Kashmir at that time on both sides who uh, thought that uh, this divide will resolve the issue. The, yes, Muslims who wanted to go with Pakistan, the main party, political party, they, they you know, those areas where that party was stronger, they, those areas came to Pakistan. And those areas which uh, uh, the, the secular parties which were stronger in the Indian side, they went to India. So generally it was assumed that this is the conclusion. The Kashmir is divided. It still is not but, really clear. Yeah, know? no, no, but, 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 uh, but if you let me finish the other aspect or other part of my point. But through their experiences, people on both sides, um, gradually, uh, they learned, including those who was in power and were placed in power, they also learned that relationship with the, uh, with the India on one side and with Pakistan on another side is not equal. That we are not seen as uh, citizens of Pakistan or citizens of India. We are seen as different and we are treated as different and we are not trusted upon. Yes. We are always, uh, there is suspicion about us. Right. So these kind of uh, uh, feelings then uh, are gave birth to a new movement, mm -hmm. the, the movement for independence. Yes. And to fast forward it, today uh, the way things are, politically there are three camps. One is still there is a camp who would uh, like to keep the status quo and have the power on Pakistani side and the other are those who would like to have a status quo and have the power on Indian side. But then there are forces on both sides which say that it should be reunited and it should be independent. But again, as far as people's conclusion is concerned, one thing is very clear that all people want the state to be united. Mm -hmm. And all the restrictions yeah. placed on people uh, for you know, the movement should be lifted. And uh, there should be more autonomy and local resources which are used by India and Pakistan, they need it. Autonomy is for a separate autonomy or one unique autonomy? Separate. Separate. Autonomy. separate. There is, there is, there is, I mean, obviously there are different views. No, no, the people want this. Yeah, but the, the general, autonomy. but the general consensus which I would read is that in, in all parts of the state, people want it, uh, um, you know, ideally they would like it reunited and India and Pakistani army completely out of the state. Mm -hmm. That's what ideally they would like. Mm -hmm. But the way political process works, obviously wishing or desiring something is different. But having infrastructure to achieve it, that is something different. So there is no, uh, I don't think there is an infrastructure um, which can force India and Pakistan to leave Kashmir. Yeah, this is a very important yeah. point. Yeah. So that important. infrastructure is missing. Yes, but the aspiration and uh, people's wishes are that it should be reunited, people should you know, uh, be free to move across and there should be autonomy and resources should be negotiated. India and Pakistan definitely need, the water is the main resource they need. They, they should be negotiated and there should be some kind of agreement that yes, they can use it, but they, they have to pay for it. Yeah. This so is what the, uh, Tibet have made these mistakes following the Dalai Lama, His Holiness. I'm not going to say they are wrong, perhaps they are right. But in the reality, the Tibet was divided because of the religion and independence. Mm -hmm. The religious people who are following the Dalai Lama, Dalai wants to the autonomy, the special autonomy, like uh, which Hong Kong and the Macau got from China, the special autonomy of his own flag, own uh, currency, no army, no police, but 
economically independent, religiously independent. Yeah. But uh, I think uh, half of population is not agree with this. No. This land is occupied. End of occupation. That's why they always have problem inside the Tibet Tibetans. Uh, Dalai Lama also forced to be actually resigned mm -hmm. as a political leader. Now a spiritual a religious leader. He got this position only. Another one, a PhD guy from uh, Harvard, who is uh, also pro that uh, Western idea, which promoting freedom of expression, democracy, and uh, special autonomy for that. Uh, that's why that uh, Tibetan Yos society is, uh, wants to separate out now. No, there is no negotiation. This is a big problem. Mm -hmm. The past 50, 60 years, we cannot achieve anything. We all see they are not so popular, but they did nothing. They achieve nothing. Mm -hmm. Every day getting worse and worse. Mm -hmm. But uh, in our condition, what mm -hmm. we feel, we have not such problem. We don't care about religion much. Mm -hmm. Very few group, little group, is uh, religious. But these people also front of independence or national uh, interests. Mm -hmm. They forget everything. Whatever the Taliban join with Taliban or anywhere else, they just forget everything. No, this is my land. Mm -hmm. They have really fixed mind. Inside our country, the autonomy we have already, and that people is struggling, fighting all the time. Never give up. At least every day somewhere have something happen. I'm not going to say that's the right, wrong thing. But it can show you are still alive, not die yet. And in exile, mm -hmm. we have not that problems. We mm -hmm. all agree. Mm -hmm. We're all together. Whatever I like you, I don't like you, that's no matter. Mm -hmm. The matter is, we only need one thing, end of occupation. This is not separatism. Mm -hmm. This is uh, our independency. Mm -hmm. This is my land. You have to go out, mm -hmm. no negotiation. Mm -hmm. For this reason, especially after 2001, we are more popular, mm -hmm. getting popular by day by day. Before that, we don't have that much uh, exiled Uyghurs who are really doing this lobby. But today we have a very big community, Europe and the United States anywhere. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is going very well. But now we still is very much isolated, mm -hmm. this region. You know, the, this side is the Russian block it up. This time all the Islamists block it up. Other side is your guys, the India. Mm -hmm. This is China. So nowhere we can contact freely. It's mm -hmm. not possible. Mm -hmm. We need allies in mm -hmm. this region. Mm -hmm. Tibet always working with us, but with suspicion. Mm -hmm. Secondly, we are not trusting them. They can stand when its time is ready. Perhaps this religious mm -hmm. issue, and they become perhaps in the history we have also problems. Mm -hmm. But we only looking for what is your guys actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't really officially sit down. We have been talked with the Talat several times to manage the meeting with the pop politician. Uh, our side, I have been talked several times. Uh, their interests, but they still is not seeing anything from your side, people, except Talat always going to Genoa to have, attending the meeting. No, any bigger sign we can see this big community, at least a million people doing something in the outside. I may mean, not a terroristic, but mm -hmm. politically, one fixed mind. This is what we want. Our problem is not a problem with India, with Pakistan, or China. Our problem is this land was occupied. As you said, we have long history, we are independent, mm -hmm. just after 47. We have been divided, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is the reality. And this is, a, we blaming UK. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think yeah, that's only blaming. Mm -hmm. uh, we shouldn't blame. Yeah. If, first of all, if both sides can fix it, the mind, yeah. if we can work together, I think uh, our enemy is not that strong. Because whatever in China, one million, three hundred million population, or India so big as well, Pakistan so big as well. they have enough problems inside. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. enough problems. At least uh, Pakistan and uh, China have enough problems. Mm -hmm. Any time they can be divided several. Yeah. Uh, Pakistan, uh, India, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. But far as we can find the direction, that's the, our goal to go there yeah. with this way. Yeah. Yeah. Then I think uh, I can invite with uh, the highest guys. Now uh, they are in uh, DC, all top ranking waivers. Mm -hmm. Because uh, 12th November is our, our national day. This day we are symbolically had our uh, national day celebration in uh, United, uh, the American uh, Parliament. Mm -hmm. uh, so this was very very nicely made and uh, supported by, of course, unofficially by the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, the declaration is very clear again. There is no autonomy needed. Because we already have autonomy, we are not seeking autonomy. This one is this man was occupied. Go out. Mm, mm, That's mm, all. Mm. And yeah. if you guys also have such clear decision, not only tell we already tell enough for I mean, 50, 60 years. So, sorry, I mean, uh, just quick point that uh, we, you know, in, in relation to Kashmir. The, the, the idea of uh, independence, the end of occupation and re reunification has grown significantly in the last about 40-50 years. But like uh, Farooq pointed out in his presentation there, that if we, claim, if we claim that it represents everybody in the state, that will not be right. Mm -hmm. There are significant number of people who are very suspicious about credibility of that idea by the people who are leading it, they um, have failed to engage the people of other communities, other religions, I would say. So that is the challenge in Kashmir. Uh, otherwise, the idea of independence is quite popular. Mm -hmm. But like I said earlier, the infrastructure is lacking and uh, the engagement of other communities, because there are regional diversity, there is a religious diversity, and engaging those communities has been has been a challenge. And uh, it, you know, I, I my personal observation is that uh, ideologically it is very popular, but practically in terms of uh, real engagement, it is lacking. Yeah, I really wish you guys can make it. I think uh, you have more uh, better chance than we do. Actually, that's what we think. Uh, through our relation, we can make together something happen in this region. Especially, we have our special places. We are perhaps is, uh, we have to stand to take care of that place, the Aksai Chin. You know, the, we have been talking several times to that. That's the place actually, very important. Yeah. yeah. And it's actually we have people joining at here, maybe just mm -hmm. uh, not officially but illegally already. Mm -hmm. uh, doing some kind of things, mm -hmm. activity, I mean, in this Aksai Chin. Mm -hmm. uh, also, both side government cannot touch. Mm -hmm. No Chinese, mm -hmm. no India. If anyone touch there, these two have to fight, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We don't care if they, these two have been fight. Mm -hmm. Right. So I think uh, that's the very uh, possible potential area for us. Mm -hmm. Anyway, mm -hmm. this is not uh, yeah, our discussion sorry. here, just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 maybe come back, uh, Farouk. Well, uh, I wish Adalat was here. <laughs> um, I will talk about his story, really. Okay, wait for her, then... Uh, Rather than... Okay, we, we come back to another question, you know, of uh, Kaiser. Mm -hmm. As you said, uh, uh, I mean, in our discussion, what is Aksai Chin? You know, it's a totally different, you know, meanings came out, what in our perception is like. Aksai Chin is like a Chinese uh, occupied, you know, area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But what is a definition of Aksai Chin? Or what, which area is that? And what, who, is there any population or anything? No, this area is uh, not under any country, any territory. Aksai Chin? Yeah. Is it not under uh, uh, Indian and Pakistani soldiers are stationed there? No. No, 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 it's uh, China's. Huh? No one is going there. Where, where are the Indian Pakistanis? So the highest place where they... Yeah. Is oh, that, what, what is no, it? that's not Tibet? with Pakistan border. That's, all, that's, uh, that's between Tibet, 
and uh, East Turkestan and, and Ladakh, that's the area. No, no, the Aksai Chan, where uh, Pakistanis and Indian, uh, there are a lot of Pakistanis, but no, Pakistan. uh, only India. D- uh, died in the storm. I think. That's a Siachin. No, no, that's a Siachin. Yeah, that's Siachin. The part of, uh, you know, there's a piece of land which uh, Pakistan gifted to China. Oh, that's a different story. That's different. So, I was asking about the Siachin. So, he's asking about that. That's different. That's different. That's a yeah. No. That one is for developing purpose. You know, that maybe Pakistan so wants to give more support. Sorry, so you, you, can, you can answer this question now. Yeah. About that Just, just wait for. Yeah, Aksai Chin, what I would like to say is there is uh, no any other... Uh, no, the first, you know, Aksai, I mean, occupied by China. Is it the correct meaning of Aksai Chin or what, what, what's the... You know, this is uh, not occupation. No one occupied. I'm still is telling you. Okay. There is no occupation. This land is the empty land. No territory can be claiming this is their Islam. If China saying mine, India saying mine. But there is nothing to do with India and China, it's something to do with you and me. Mm, yeah, yeah. You guys understand what I am saying? Yeah, right. yes, but today, yes, yes, yes. if the China sending any troop here, army or anyone else, mm-hmm. India imminent attack, mm-hmm. they will be start fire, war. Understand? If the India also go in this region, China will be attacked. Mm, 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 mm. You understand? You got yeah. my meaning, right? So this is the region for us, health, the, you know, the self, safe haven actually. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what and it is, is a part of uh, uh, Sankyang? No. If no. I, bl- I, cl- I say yes, <laughs> but it's not. But, but, but it's not under the use of Sankyang or anybody. No one is using it. No one using it. But if Sankyang, you, will, if Sankyang tries to use it, will China attack Sankyang? Oh no. no, we are part of China. Okay. How can okay. the China have okay. taken? Okay. They will have been, but they are not, no one allowed. Yeah, yeah. The Xinjiang or Uyghur who wants to go in there, it's mainly China going there. But if we against China go in there, no one can blame us. India not angry for that. Uyghurs do it. Like India gave that Dharam uh, Salah uh, to Tibetan. They will probably say, Uyghurs, come. Now you fight with Chinese, I support you. They will probably do that, but we are not going to do that. Either. Okay, Farooq was going to talk about the story. Well, uh, thank you, Dharat Sahib. It was very moving piece, very moving story. Uh, the, well, also personally very important because first time I was hearing a story in Pahari language. Um, and I think this is very important in this uh, globalized, so-called globalized world, where you are increasingly having uh, English as a lingua franca and small languages, perhaps three languages die every day, to uh, write something in Pahadi is very important. Uh, generally, and especially for dictionary culture, and technique of it was very good. I mean, a letter tells the story of the divide and post-divide period. Uh, the language was very, as Pahari is, very sweet language, liked it. Uh, I mean, I have no criticism, it's all praise. Uh, it's uh, the only thing perhaps, the end of it, perhaps you could twist it a bit more like Manto because, I mean, I want to know, because uh, Jitu's sister becomes Muslim. That is to say, uh, she was kidnapped and, you know, converted forcefully and this happened to millions of women perhaps or hundreds of thousands in broader subcontinent in 1947. Uh, I wonder, wouldn't it be a sort of a dilemma for uh, Jitu? Would it not, I mean, perhaps he would like his sister to be dead than to be kidnapped in the cultural context perhaps if you are not really uh, defending uh, Kashmiris or Jammu people as very progressives I mean in general perhaps uh, I'm not perhaps able to say but I think that 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 I
wouldn't this kind of thought would come to Jitu? And wouldn't you like to explore that aspect as well? Yeah. Or did you have it in your mind? No. No. Because I'll I tell you what I had in mind. And not, I think you're absolutely right. Yeah. The force divide, our engineer divide in Kashmir, is not, in my opinion, as voluntary as it was within, between India and Pakistan, what Manto has written. What I'm trying to say in this is that even though people are divided, the aspiration remains. Jitu has confidence from where he was, from where he was forced to move. And Jitu really trusts people that if somebody had survived, they would have contacted them. So in my story, I'm trying to say that it wasn't hatred. We were forced, and we are still yearning to come back. So I've, 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 I've taken that context rather than Manto's context, where he was quite hostile and it was voluntary. And but I, 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 yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. So that's, that's what I was trying to say, that, that you know, like the thread is there. Because in many cases, for instance, uh, in case of India and Pakistan, then people would come to know that, okay, their sister is alive on the other side, yeah. both countries. They were sort of disowned. In some cases, girls were sort of rehabilitated. Recently, there was a very tragic story coming to light by Ishtiaq Ahmad, who writes for Daily Times and he came up with a very good book on Punjab partition. Uh, there was a Sikh or Hindu woman, girl at the time. She was uh, kidnapped and, you know, married to a Pakistani man. She became Muslim, mother of like, two or three of his uh, kids. Then the family came to know each other. This girl goes to meet her family, other side of Vaga, and the family didn't let her come back. And she was married to a sick man on that side. First married. Yeah. yeah. And now she had two, three more kids. This woman was never able to come back to Pakistan to meet her own children. And now she lives in USA. So when Ishtar came to know and he wrote about this in his column, so her Pakistani children came to know about the story, that their mother is alive and she lives in USA. Mm. So she was able to uh, reunite with one son, he traveled to USA uh, after like maybe they separated in mid-60s sometime, when you could still go and all that. So I mean horrible but stories the, and... Uh, yeah. Okay, can I? Yeah. I, I, I think it's, it's, it's fascinating and you know, that it goes from individual to individual. But I have been able to go and then I've located at least four or five families. There's cars one of them. Where the girls have been here and then we've got a friend who writes party as well. So his mother were, stayed here and then she became Muslim. She'd been to Mecca and Al-Mabia. We found his uncles. They're all practicing in Jews and what have you. So the guy contact. And then he started uh, supporting them, you know, and then talking to them. Then he went there, uh, and then absolutely no problem. And his mother's been there. And when he went there, he said, they, they, they asked their neighbor Muslims, oh, he's a roti, he was, you know, like, he gave him some food. And he says, you know, look, you're my mama, you're my uncle. And um, I'm eating with you. Oh, no, you're Muslim. He says, I don't wish him. You know, like, and then your family, your brother in law. And, and then I think that you'll find that Kashmiri experiences are quite different. Mm. And they're accepted. Um, uh, the, the, you know, the, I came back with the six from Punch, mm. and they've been able to relocate. But I am tired of any rejection story like you're telling me at all with the Kashmiri context. Yeah, in, in, in my uh, auntie's case, my mama's wife, 
she was one who was, you know, kept on this side. And uh, her, some of her family members were killed, and other left on the other side. And uh, his son, her son now managed to, he's over 50, he's about 54, 55 now. Your brother? My brother-in-law, my sister is married to him. And uh, um, he went there and uh, he li lived there for two weeks. And uh, you know, he, he, there, there was no uh, sense of, obviously there was sense of loss and sense of pain and what happened at that time. And But there was no um, uh, kind of uh, uh, any a sense of rejection towards him or his family or anything because um, I think yes when you when you write it uh, in a social context and you you want to highlight how these emotions were exploited by politics then is is a different uh, story but if you look at from the people you stand with the people and then look at things there was it was huge diversity and uh, every story has its own context and I think in, in this case um, you know in in, 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 in this uh, Pahari area cases I think um, whoever managed to trace back their relatives there was no issue of uh, uh, rejection or saying because they are different religion he stayed there they respected his uh, uh, sort of uh, needs as a Muslim mm. and he obviously he's not Hindu but they are Hindu his uncles his aunties uh, obviously his grandma died you know about, about six months before he managed to go there mm. and uh, you know but they, they all were kind of uh, as, as a family but um, of course with a with lot of pain as well yes one of the things I'd like to share is the, there is a massive me pre Hindu community in Jammu. Mm. But they're very affluent. Mm. They're very affluent in people. Mm. People are third city in the state. Mm. Which is they're flooded now. But they that's another mm. story. Mm. And they managed to persuade the government to emotionally create a Meepur road. Mm. The road is called Meepur. Mm. It comes from city to the border. Mm. And then you, you know, like me put this way so many miles. And there was this Chaudhary Lal, <coughs> one of their uh, ministers or MLAs, MPs, whatever. He was going to open it. When I went there, they told him to piss on. He said, they said, uh, we've got somebody from me put to open it. So I opened it. You know, you see that thing. I opened the, I opened the road. And anybody going from me put, Hindu, whatever, so I, th I think in, in, in the Meepa case, in the, in the Kashmiri case, as well the Pali region, it's quite like opposite to our Mantona. So that's why, you know, like, I was trying to write that they've got, still got confidence that they'll come to, they'll come to you for the few. That's what I think. But I think there, 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 are, there are other stories where you can, like I said earlier, there is another story, uh, another lady who was kept here and uh, her uh, mother and brothers, they migrated from Meepur, they were very rich family here in Meepur, goldsmiths and uh, they, when they went from here, then they settled in Punjab rather than in Jammu. So, and they are very settled there as well now. And after this, uh, my cousin's uh, reunion, uh, they also asked him that, please, can you trace our parents? So he managed to trace. Mm -hmm. And uh, they spoke over the phone. And her mother initially refused to recognize her. Mm -hmm. He said, no, you, I can't be your mother. You can't be our daughter. And then after a few phone calls, one night she started crying and she said, I know you are my daughter, but it will make things too complicated now. 
because I remarried, I have children from my other husband and I don't know how they will react and they are married and how it will affect their marriages. So if anybody reacts negatively, the whole family will suffer. So I don't know what to do now. And you know, these kind of factors are also present, but it depends what you want to kind of highlight. This is very beautifully written, and this story I have been read in Turkish of Cyprus. I personally visit several times Cyprus, just because of my interest too. Cyprus is a country that occupied two countries, Greeks and Turks. They divided exact as you did, they divided. But the good as, for example, with our passport, we just go across your passport, there's no problem. Go across both sides yeah. without anything, any problem. It's just there is a United Nations border police, about uh, three, four meter wide places. All these cars rowing back and go from the United Nations. And this side is the Greek Cyprus, that side is Turkish Cyprus. It's relative, both sides are suffering exactly the same. Mm -hmm. But good saying, they can go across. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. can I think that's, that is what is uh, well, some. Mm -hmm. The legal position is that legally you can go to Indian side and they can come to our side. That's not a crime in constitution in any country. But in practice, what they do is if I go across, they will catch me as going across and, as a spider. and they'll catch me as a Pakistani spy. Mm. So what do you do about that? And Pakistani will do the same. Mm. Otherwise, legally, there's no trial. No. I can go, it's my country, I must stay somewhere to them. Mm. That's the idea of it. That's the occupation. And the the Greek Cyprus was joined with the European Union mm. because they're Christian background, yeah. but some Muslim as well. Turkish side is not allowed to join. That side is the nine, uh, 80 to 90 percent something between here is a Muslim and a Christian society. But the Turkish side said, we're willing to join. But the Greek side said, 80 percent, I think, in the uh, voting said, no, yeah, we are not letting you join. Yeah, yeah. And the other side, the 60% said, we will join, 40% said, no, we are not going to join. So this is the latest problem is really happening. Well, at least they were given a choice. Yeah. This is where they yeah. Yeah. At least they were given a choice. I think there is, there is some kind of uh, realization now within Kashmir on both sides that, uh, you know, the final solution, don't know what it will be and when it will be, Mm, and maybe we we could kind of um, uh, leadership. strengthen leadership. the demand mm. that there should be a free travel at least and mm. people should be able to meet mm. and uh, the rest can be resolved whenever mm. but at least this you know torture of divided families should be absolutely addressed. but most side not letting you as the Dalat said you are spy if any yeah. time you go across at the moment that is the case so the, it's meaning India no willing you guys want to be free, uh, go on the back with your relatives. Yeah. And the Pakistan side also don't want. No. Only if you guys want an app. It's quite bad. You know, like if one of the, on our side, Pakistani side, on the border areas, if one of the soldiers, army officers, any Pakistani army, falls in my wife, and I resist. You can't have her. And they can get me off. Indian spy. Fuck all I can do. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's under that disguise. I'm not saying, yeah. yeah. And, and, and another, uh, you know, ironic situation is that on the international border between India and Pakistan, they have become more friendly. Mm. They have this uh, borders open where people come and go. Obviously, with, with papers, uh, but uh, on Kashmir side, 
there is always hostility more and, and more kind of uh, uh, militarized border. Yeah. Yeah. So, what reason is that? Why these two country can? Why this special region cannot? Because it's your problem or theirs problem? No, no. Because they don't have trust in people. Although mm. they like to see as a religious divide. But in their researches, in their knowledge, in their hearts of hearts, they know that this artificial divide of religion cannot divide these people. Once they get an opportunity to get together, they'll get together and fight for independence. We would have to fuck off. Yeah. So, so, so it is in their interest to keep them divided and tell people that there's fundamentalism and you know, like bombing and. Also, Terrible pain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. After 99, I left the country and no allowed back. My older son was there two years old when I left, two and a half actually. Now he is uh, 16 and a half. He didn't have me. Only once we had talked on the phone when he was uh, six years old and it is birthday. Since then I never contact. You can't contact me with a. No, I'm not. Why not? I don't want that's the oh, okay. thing. Because uh, what I can give for him. Mm, 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 mm. I cannot invite him, I cannot go in here. Mm. Can I bring him here? No. What? Oh. They're not allowed my family, my three generation having a passport. Uh -huh. My parent my mom was forty years forty eight years old when I left. Now she's uh, sixty two. So what why I mean is it because you resist it against the... Because what I'm writing, what I'm speaking. Is it only because of you? They yeah. All three generations, they have yeah. been denied passport. Yeah. My brother and my brothers, my uncles, and my cousins also are not allowed having a passport. How stupid it is. Because but I never get called from any of my relatives. Could you please stop your activity, or your writing, or your speaking? No one. It's 14 years, no one said stop it. All the time, very nice word, you talk beautifully, take care of yourself, for the others. So, if my dad or my mom ask me stop, I am not stop. I already stop it. You will? I will. I cry all the time. But I doing everything for willing of my nation actually. Mm -hmm. If willing of my personality, do you want to separate your son with 15 years without contacting? Mm -hmm. But I always get his photo all the time. I just saying I know. He also keep asking from my parents uh, how is going on with me, and he really wish to come to see me. But mm -hmm. he never also asking when my dad will be back. Mm -hmm. So this is how I feel my nation's real feeling mm. inside. Mm. Mm. How much they are expecting from we in outside. Mm. It's not only me. There is at least <coughs> 10, 20 percent of Uyghurs in a who already exiled. Same yeah, situation. Same situation. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but I support. In the beginning, we are very hard to controlling, very hard, uh, strong control for exiled Uyghurs not allow them back. Yeah. Don't cheat in with them. Don't go to Chinese embassy asking visa. We are not recognized the Chinese occupation. If you're asking visa, go back home through Chinese embassy, it's meaning you're recognizing you are the part of China. Right. That was how we are until 2000, maybe 2002 sometime. Ah, 2003, we had a special congress in Eastland, yeah, Eastland Estonia. Then uh, we changed all policy. But uh, recently, the between we have also difficulty to understand. But later on, I write a lot. Let that be. Now is uh, everyone who have a big position in the political organization is not allowed to go. Mm. But all any other Uyghurs, mm. who may were the person, go. Mm. Go home, if you can. Mm. Mm. So we are not stopping. Then we, why? Some of the <coughs> religions we are allowing that back home because this is the only way they bring something from outside into the country. Mm. 
mm -hmm. and they, they can come out safely then bring out something mm -hmm. we are not expecting for everyone we're mm -hmm. expecting from 100 about four or five mm -hmm. that's enough mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. so for this reason uh, now we are letting you can go <coughs> but uh, in the beginning we really really the so change of strategy yeah change of strategy and the china is uh, pissed off with this ah that's more worse than <laughs> then we are not loaning you back then. Yes. That's why they're stopping us. No, no out, no in. Mm. So that means uh, not from your family, but any general who, uh, if, even if he bought to get the passport, no, no. then you will be. You know, I said 10 to 20 percent here. Yeah. No, I mean any other who is living in, you know, in your land. If you go to the Chinese embassy to get the visa to get out of the there, so. Will they, they be allowed? Will they be allowed? Will they be allowed? Chinese. Government will resist to allow him passport because they know he will go out and he will join the movement outside China. Yeah, Ch uh, Chinese now all Uyghurs wants to join, but China also now they, they have a lot of money paying for you, using you to you know, inserting some problems with some people. For example, we have an exile government which not really recognized, but we don't mind. A guy who is the so-called exile government president. Uh, he you, was, don't, don't, you don't recognize him as the exile government? No. We are not really serious with that, but we don't care. Okay, you are joking, you just go ahead to joke. But we have a congress we call Kurutai, the World Uyghur Congress. It's a top organization built up with the 37 Uyghur Association worldwide. So this is the real one. The other one is just few people. It was really early time was made it. But no one stopped at that time, but uh, not much people too serious. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And we don't want to kill this so-called Republic of East Turkestan by our hand. Why we shall? This is our country, so we are not really serious. Let that be first. Maybe someday coming, we kick these guys out and make it really true exile government. But now is not time. If you are too harsh, then it, you will lose <coughs> the support of international society. Right. So for this reason, we are not. But uh, for your, what you ask, it, the Tibetan and the Uyghurs have very, very difficulty for having applying passport mm -hmm. in China, and 95% uh, Uyghurs is very difficult to apply in the Chinese constitution. Han Chinese. You can apply online, for seven days. Now I think it's cut off to three days. Like uh, here, the passport that you post at your home, or you can go collect from any uh, police office where you register it. So this is for only for Han. Mm. Not for Tibetan, not for Uyghurs. Uh, they understand if they come out, the immigrant turn back to China. But uh, recently we think it's enough. Because already inside 50-50. In 1950s, there is one or two percent less than non-Turkic people in our country. I mean, non-Turkic. But today, 50-50. The 50. So, so it's demographic engineering. Yeah. It's a demographic engineering. Exactly. So now we say we shouldn't leave country.